Hey, what's going on, guys? Dr. Sean J. Harris here with Generational Wealth Academy. Great Monday evening to everybody. I want to be real brief, but I want to come on my personal page just to give um, some valuable information I think will be a great value add. Many times people talk about success and success principles. However, they don't typically give you actionable um, things to do. So I'm gonna give you some actionable activities on some things I think can really help people. I'm here in Atlanta, Georgia, and we have what a 30 cent gas sales tax. So what I wanna do is I wanna talk about mindset a little bit, just to get you to think a little differently, which will yield you different results, particularly when it comes to creating finances. So I know everyone is uh, <laughs> like in a frenzy about the, the $20 eggs uh, for the big pack or whatever. Hey, that's just part of inflation. So let's talk about some things about the mindset so that you can really put things in perspective to really see, is it a crisis like you really think it is, or is there a simple remedy to fixing whatever it is you think may be a problem that, well, let's say a perceived problem. So today I was coming home, I was filling up one of the trucks. I was filling up the Hummer to be specific. I think in the Hummer I have like a 30 or 32 gallon tank. So again, here in Georgia, uh, they release uh, or waive the 30 cent sales tax that we had on gasoline for like six months, ever since the gas went up over the summer. So it was reinstated last week and I was filling up the, uh, the Hummer and somebody asked me and said, hey, listen, how much does it cost you to fill that thing up? Isn't that expensive? Isn't that a gas guzzler? Well, again, that's, you know, that's relative. But here's the deal. I did research. I looked at the average cars, an average sedan uh, between a Honda, a Toyota, and also a Hyundai. I just looked at the average gas tank capacity. The average capacity for fuel on those three vehicles is 15.8 gallons. So doing a little math, if the gas sales tax is 30 cents and you have a 15 gallon tank, my math I did on that came up to be $4.50 per fill up extra. So when we're really complaining about the price of eggs or complaining about uh, a sales tax on fuel that only amounted to an additional $4.50, if that's a, a huge crisis, first we have to be honest with ourselves and we have to say what we do to make money may not be the best way to make money. So I came up with a few actionable ideas for you guys. Again, uh, we're looking at making up an extra $4.50. So let's just round it and say uh, five bucks. So if you fill up two times a week, that's $10 extra that you have to make up. There's different ways of making money that you already have skill set to do. And it doesn't take like a lot of effort to do it. Uh, the first thing I'll, I'm always telling people, write an ebook. If you've been doing what you're doing professionally for over five, 10 years, you gotta be pretty good at what you do. You can make an ebook. Write that ebook and just imagine if you sold one ebook for five dollars. Well, if you sold two ebooks, hey, that's a gallon, that's a, a two Phillips of the extra money. But again, what if you sold that ebook for twenty-five dollars and you sold four a week? That's a hundred dollars that you just made this week in addition to whatever it is, whatever it is that you do outside of that for income. Uh, another option is uh, tutoring. You can tutor. How many of you guys are like super good? Y'all know I'm a C student now, but how many of you guys were actually good at school? How many people were A students? You were, you were scholars in English, you, you were mathematicians. Well, think about how much money you can make tutoring. I asked Tara earlier, what's the going price for tutoring? She said she believed it's like 30 to $35 uh, an hour for a session. Uh, another way you can provide a, a form of tutoring is if you're a, a musician. How many people played clarinet, trumpet, drums, saxophone, piano back in school? Well, if you still have that skill set, you can teach people how to do the same thing for profit. So again, when we're looking at things uh, that we think is a problem, we gotta ask ourselves, is it really a problem? Is paying an extra $5 for a fill up really that big of a problem? And if it is, again, we have to be honest and accept the fact that what we do to make money is not necessarily the best way to make money and that we need to find some alternatives to give us some different choices and options. Because see, here's, here's what money does. Money provides two things. My dad taught me this a long time ago when I was a kid. Money provides two things. It provides golden memories 
and it also provides options. So those are the two things that money is used for. Nothing else really. Creating golden memories and to have options. Um, so when I, when I talk about mindset, we can't keep thinking old ideology and expecting a different result moving forward in the future. So think about this for an example. Back in the day, the axe handle salesman made a lot of money because axe handles were always being broken, split in half, or just deteriorating. So you replace the new axe uh, head on top of the axe handle. But if somebody was selling axe handles today, they probably wouldn't do too well because we have chainsaws. We have laser saws now that even put chainsaws out of business. Think about some other things. Uh, let's talk about the stove. Many people don't use the stove as often because they use the microwave. And now most people aren't even using microwaves because they're using air fryers. Same thing, the old fashioned, it wasn't too long ago, it was just 15, 18 years ago where we were actually using map books still. When I was the deputy sheriff in the police, I actually had to pull out a map book and read coordinates A3 and figure out what street I was going to. But now uh, it transformed and went to MapQuest. You guys remember MapQuest when you actually had to print out the map. You had like two or three pages to try to figure out how to get from here uh, to the farmer's market or something. And now we have GPS, which makes it even easier. So again, we, we gotta change our mindset if we wanna change other aspects in our life. Uh, primarily with our finances. If you want to change your physical conditioning, we got to change the mindset. We can't keep accepting what we may find as unacceptable in our physical being. We have to say, hey, I'm not going to tolerate this anymore. But it starts up here and then it leads into the action or the actionable steps to start getting in shape or do whatever it is we want to do. So that was just a little tidbit. I wanted to give you guys some actionable steps that you can take and not just be the person that come on and say, hey, figure out this money problem. It's not hard to do. Well, many times you have to actually walk people through processes so that they can start seeing how simple the process is. Because see, making money is very simple. Making large amounts of money takes coaching. It takes strategy and know-how. comes from wisdom. All right, guys. I'm Dr. Sean J. Harris. Make impact and make money while you're doing it.